but uh, one that is made out of jade or, uh, you know, those would be very expensive. Those would not be a dime a dozen. So, but the, the little plastic ones, you know, uh, those are a dime a dozen. Yeah. They're very, com very common. <laughs> okay, let's pick up some new This isn't working. Why is this not working, I wonder? Good morning. got to uh, reboot, I think. <laughs> ah, that's the difference, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
uh, while we wait on this, would someone help me do me a favor and get the exercise books for everyone? Uh, we'll need, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we'll need eight. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, okay. Now we're going. Uh, I have I have one, thank oh, you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Well, success. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Um, sorry. <laughs> My apology. Um, let's look at some and any. When do we use some and when do we use any? Okay? And it's a simple rule, just like the other ones we've been doing. It's a simple rule. Do you know what sum means, right? Like sum refers to, um, like, um, here are some books, here are some students, a collection of, of people or things, sum. Any refers to only one, like, um, now. We use some when we're, when we're uh, speaking a sentence or writing a sentence that is positive. Uh, we're making an affirmative or a positive statement. So I can say, we have some books to read from. Um, yes, I would like some tea. 
So I'm making a positive statement. I'm making a statement in the affirmative. So we use some when the statement is positive. We use any, we use any when we're making a statement that is negative. When we're saying we don't have something. So, yes, I would like some tea. That's a positive statement. No, I don't want any tea. We use any when we're making a negative statement. So, some, any. So if we, to put this in a couple of sentences together, we could say we need to stop and get some gas for the car. However, I do not see any gas stations. So some, we use in a positive statement, any, we use in a negative statement. That's all there is to it. That's easy. Uh, in this case, some can do both countable noun and uncountable noun. Some T, some T can do both countable and uncountable noun. Oh, I, I could say yes, I am some comfortable now. Mm. Um, uncountable, uncountable now, and countable now. Countable and uncountable oh. now. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that would be positive and negative. Uh huh. Um. Okay, we're all sitting.